is breaking news from the 7 Action Newsroom. Breaking news tonight, a little girl in a fight for her life after a hit and run driver ran her down. 7 Action News reporter Andy Choi is live on the scene. Andy, how did this all unfold? Very quickly, it started with the ice cream truck here. The eight-year-old girl is critical at Sinai Grace Hospital. You know, this neighborhood full of children her age, and it's a reason why the ice cream truck behind me is a part of the crime scene. Now, investigators say a group of kids were just finished getting some ice cream when a silver Dodge Charger raced up Robeson and struck the girl. Now, you can see her shoes still lying at the scene tonight. Witnesses say the girl landed about 20 feet from where she was struck, and that silver charger just kept going. Then I heard the car speeding away, and her mother was all upset, and I looked down the street, see the girl landing in the street. It was just awful. They tried to chase the guy down on bikes and stuff, but he just got away too fast. We got the scene controlled as soon as we could. Um, they may have been people to come to move the clothing evidence. Um, of course, the EMS, when they got here, they may have moved it, so at this point, it's just too soon to get in, in the distances. And it's why police spent hours collecting measurements here, doing it very meticulously out here on the scene. Now, the big part of the evidence, of course, is this silver charger that neighbors here tell us that they've seen before. And they're asking the driver of this charger to please turn yourself in. We are live on the northwest side of Detroit. Andy Choi, 7 Action News. Carolyn? Andy, I know this is a breaking story, but any family members around there? I'm sure many of them are probably at the hospital with her, but how many brothers and sisters does she have? Have or have any family members been around? You know, we saw a loved one uh, walk in and out of a home presumed to be the uh, home of this family, of this little girl. Um, he, t he was telling us that she's holding on, that she's doing okay, that, you know, investigators here saying uh, they found a pulse on her. So obviously, this is a very serious situation right now, barely finding a pulse here at the hospital. They're holding on, they're hoping and praying. Um, as far as friends go, this girl. All the girls here, all the little girls here uh, knew her. They played with her. They were friends. The parents knew each other. So uh, while they may not have been family here on the street, the friends, the neighbors here certainly uh, say uh, they were like family. Carolyn.